Hi all and welcome back to my channel, that's me again, your great NSC in the place to be. Yeah, today with a nice PlayStation 4, all just in white, <laughs> very nice. The only problem is, mm -hmm, the fan connector is broken. Yeah, this happens on a lot of PlayStation 4. On this model, the fan connector, they are very small and very thin. And uh, yeah, sadly, when you just have to take it away uh, without to take care, this is gonna just break out here and then you have really a big problem, let's say like that. So um, now I'm gonna show you uh, three options how you can fix that. And yeah, for first I need to turn this all, then we're gonna zoom a little bit and then yeah, I can talk with you about this problem better and about the three solutions that you can do um, yeah, to fix this problem, okay? So now let me just zoom all and just prepare all and let's go. So I think I'm ready now. I'm gonna now just, we can say, zoom a little bit in and let's move it to this side so I will be able to record it better. And let's make some lights on, maybe this will help too. So here we go. And yeah, this is a lot of zoom, but I need it like that. Otherwise, um, this will not be able, or I will not be able to show you this just perfect like I need to. So let me just try to zoom a little bit more. Okay, I think it's okay. It's not the best. Um, it's not that sharp because I have really a lot of zoom, but I think it's okay. So um, if you just hold it on this side, you can see that you have the brown cable on the left side. Okay, here's the brown cable, you have it on the left side, the black cable, which is ground or minus, is on the middle, and the gray cable, which is PVM or PWM, is on the right side. Okay, so here, um, you can see now, let me not just take another um, yeah, bit, so now here you can see that you got the contact which was soldered here on the front, here it was soldered, but the contact goes till this dot here, okay? You can see the dot here, and this is the most important, guys, that you should know, because this here is the 12 volts line, okay? This contact, you don't um, solder with ground, because you can see here, all around here is just ground, okay? This is just minus, all here is ground but this one here here inside is we can say the 12 volts line okay in the middle um you got like i told just the ground okay here's just ground all the pcb around here is minus and ground and that's why you need to take care here that you do not solder over this line here okay you need to stay here inside otherwise you're gonna short it okay and then it's game over the other thing is now, you can see on the right side, um, the contact for um, uh, PWM, uh, which controls, we can say, the fan speed. And here, also, it's the same thing. You need to take care that you do not solder this contact with this together or this contact with this together, okay? Because this contact here is a single contact and this one is also single, okay? This is very important for you guys. You need to know that and that's why I'm showing you that. If you want to try to fix that, the first thing you need some soldering skills and the other thing is you should have, we can say, a calm hand <laughs> and um, the other thing of course you need time and patience, okay? So, like I told, the first one here on the left side is the brown cable which is the 12 volt lines, here the 12 volt line, the contact in the middle is minus, the black one. And we can say uh, the gray one is, we can say, PWM, which is for the fan speed, okay? So the fan is, yeah, let, let's say the fan is always working on 12 volts, but the gray here is just regulating or adjusting the fan speed, just that you can understand uh, easy. Okay, um, now you got here three options, like I told. The first easiest option to fix this problem is you just take this gray adapter here out, yeah, just take it out, you can go here under the pins and then you can just flip it over and then you can take the cables out, okay? You can just take the cables from this plastic adapter out. And the first and easiest method to solder it there is, or to fix that, 
is to solder the cables directly on this contact spec. Just solder them on the PCB itself. You understand? This is the first and uh, we can say one of the easiest <laughs> methods uh, how you can fix that just for yourself. But if you are trying to repair this for another guy, then you can get this adapter on eBay and then you can just solder it back like it should be done. But the other thing is also if you just get the original adapters, yeah, it will just stay the same shit, you know. So this is still the same shit because it breaks uh, very easy and this is also small and so thinny and it's just, we can say, a shitty thing, okay? It's not like on the PlayStation 3 or on the PlayStation 4 Pro uh, because on the PlayStation 4 Pro this is just a little bit bigger and it's, yeah, let's say it's, it's uh, stronger and it's just better, okay? It holds better. But this one's here, it's just, yeah, shitty made. Okay, um, the second option, like I told, is to buy these adapters on eBay, the original ones, and then you can just solder it all back together, and you just need to click this cable here inside. The third option is my favorite option, but um, you need to do some work. Okay, the third option is to solder an adapter from the PlayStation 3, which is in the first, uh, it's bigger, it's better, and it's, yeah, we can say stronger, okay? But you need to do here some modifications. And then you will be able to get this here inside, turn it to that side, we can say, so. And then you're going to be able still to close, we can say, the case, okay? The case, which is important, otherwise it will just look bad. But, like I told, you will need here to do some modifications and then this will just work fine. So, like I told, this is the, the, the third option to get an adapter from the PlayStation 3, which, yeah, they are just bigger and stronger. And then you just need, of course, a cable, which you can take from your PlayStation 3 fan. Just cut it away. Sometimes you guys have this at home and just, well, old stuff, let's say like that. And then you can just cut it away from your old PlayStation 3 fan. And then, yeah, you have the connector for the fan adapter. And also here you need to take care on which side you want to solder it. Because you will need to take care uh, on the yeah brown cable, black cable and on the gray cable. This is very important. So now, um, yeah, let's say... Um, you're gonna repair it for yourself, you have no money and you have no adapter at home like this one here from the PlayStation 3, then you can just take this away here, you just open it here, you see that? Open here, go under there with a, with a thinny uh, stuff like a razor blade or let's say here um, a small bit, maybe I got some smaller ones here around, let me just check this out guys. So here, and then you just can, uh, you just can go here under there, See that? So, wait me. Let me just try to show you that because here. So now I'm in. I hope you can see that. And then you can now just take off this gray cable. Here we go. Okay? And then you will be able to solder this gray cable here directly. Wait. So. Directly on the motherboard. Okay? But then, I tell you again, then you need to take care that you do not solder this contact here on this side which is ground okay so all about here is ground you can see that this contact here is a single contact so that means you need to cut the front or the point yeah just here on the top of the cable you need to cut it a little bit just a little bit that you really have just a small soldering contact and then you're going to be able to solder it just here inside Okay, but it's important that you cut this stuff away here, this contact here. Okay, because this one here is very long and very big. And if you do not have soldering skills just like I have, then maybe you're gonna sadly solder also here on the yeah ground. And this will short your PlayStation 4. Um, what is also important to know is that the main board, the PCB, which is the platine, the motherboard, um, it is here, we can say, a little bit, yeah, like uh, green. And the surface here is, we can say, protected with some uh, paint. Not paint, but some 
a transparent paint. So that means you need normally just to scratch it a little bit, just like here. You see the guy has just scratched it here sadly. And just then you're gonna have contact. So that means when you solder it really great, uh, this will just work perfect because you cannot do a mistake because here you have no contact. You get here, you have already also two contacts, but this is just ground. These two here, they are just holding, we can say, the connector, okay? Just like here on the PlayStation 3, you have this also, okay? You got here on the left side, and on the right side, you got, we can say here, these two soldering contacts. This is just that the connector is fixed uh, on the motherboard that you will not be able to break it out that quickly or that fast, okay? And that's why um, these two... Uh, holdering or, or, or we can say yeah fix it points for the connector on the PlayStation 4 they are just so thin you can see that <laughs> they break easily they really break easily let me just uh, get now my marker because I need to show you something and then um, yeah let's do that wait 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 so here okay now you can go around here if you want just to get a bigger one inside, just like I will do, I will try to do. I don't know if this will work, okay? Because I'm doing this video here just directly now and I have to uh, think about to do that just perfect and I just want to do it better. So, um, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to close the case because this you can be that it's just too high already, but I'm gonna test it and then I will, we can say, decide which option I am gonna use it. So, um, but if you want to, we can say, get an adapter like this here, or let's say a connector like on the PlayStation 3, then you will need to scratch the motherboard till here, okay? You're gonna need to scratch it here because you need more contact. This small one is just not, um, yeah, not enough, okay? Um, that's why if you want to replace this one here, this bad guy over there, <laughs> then um, we... Yeah, let's say um, we're gonna place it like that, maybe, yeah, not sure. I'm gonna later first try to close the case with this connector and then I'm gonna see if this will be possible or not. So here, um, you need to take care because um, you also need later to bend this contact here. Because here inside you can see, wait, let me just get this here more like that, so. Here, these three contacts, they are, we can say, near together, okay? You have not so much space. On the PlayStation 3, the space is, let's say, about that. But on the PlayStation 4, the space between the contacts, they are really just, yeah, um, together, yeah? So you will need to take care. And that's why we're going to need to bend these three pins here on the adapter near together, okay? You're going to need to. To bend it together a little bit and you need to take care that you're gonna not have here uh, a short circuit you do not solder these three contacts together and yeah if you're gonna do that that means um you got here like you can see already on the side i'm gonna just hold it right now just like that and then i'm gonna try to show you this um yeah maybe like that okay now you can see the contact here here on the side is the soldering point that you're gonna need to fix this adapter on the motherboard. And that's why we're gonna need later to solder um, the um, fixed contact, or you can say the, the contact that will fix or hold this adapter. And that's why we're gonna need to scratch the motherboard till here, just on the side where is minus or ground. And then you will be able to get some soldering here inside and this will hold all this contact together and this will be just ever some guys. This will be just perfect, okay? I hope you can understand what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting complicated sometimes on my channel, also because of my English. <laughs> but um, I'm, really, I'm really just uh, trying to show you that so great as I can. So let me just adjust my camera again. So here you can see now the adapter, the connector, and um, you can also see here on the side you can see here this um, yeah contact, okay? Here and the left one is just there that you can have a contact to fix this connector just perfectly and strong 
to the motherboard. But then, if you just will do it like me, you're gonna have or you're gonna need um, to scratch the PCB also just around here. Okay, a little bit more because you will later need to get here a contact. And this it should look uh, should look like this. Okay, here something like that. That means you can scratch all around here. And let's put this back again. So, and then you can scratch also. Yeah, let's say you can also go here. Doesn't matter. You don't need to scratch it just like I have painted. You just can scratch it here on the left side. You see, just around here. Okay. You don't need to scratch it here. Just scratch it on the left side, and here just on the small side. And then we're gonna need to um yeah. Sorry that I'm shaking so much. And then you're gonna need, like I told, to solder just here on this point, on this small point. The middle one is just all the ground, okay? It gets over here. This is the middle contact. See that? This is here. All what is green here inside is just, we can say, ground, okay? Here. This is a single contact. The middle one is just all ground and all minus. And this one here is again a single one, okay? And that's why you need to take care, otherwise you're gonna short your PlayStation 4 and then it's game over. <laughs> yeah, because then you will have really a problem and this gonna, um, yeah. Will, this will be just very, very hard um, to get repaired because if you have shorted your PlayStation 4, you need to check all the fuses and this will take a lot of time and mostly this is just not worth, okay? And that's why I'm telling you guys um, on what you should ta take care about. So, I'm gonna now just do my work, I'm gonna prepare some stuff and then I will just keep recording it. Um, yeah, I don't know when, but I need now first for myself to test here lots of stuff again. Because I need in the first line to test if I will be able to close the case included the new PlayStation 3 connector. <laughs> yeah, I know uh, some other people will now maybe just install the original one, but I just don't want because I don't like it. And this is just so shitty and so thin and so small and yeah, it's always the same shit. Of course, when you one day gonna um, change the fan, you're gonna need to replace the adapter again. But this is not a big work. And just to replace the adapter here on the fan side is, we can say, way easier as we can say to uh, fix this connector here inside. So, like you can see, I have just cleaned it all. This was not just that you can see what I mean and that you understand how this electronics here are working. Otherwise, like I told, you're gonna short it. <laughs> all right, now um, let's make a quick test. I'm gonna now just zoom back a little bit more and um, wait, let me get here. So, let's get this here up, and then let's see. So, if you wanna, or if I'm gonna be able to close the case, included this adapter. For now, I need just to bend these contacts already. Just slowly, don't break them, okay. I'm gonna just bend it, because otherwise they are just disturbing me. And so you can see it's okay. See that? Wait. Waiting the zoom or the focus. Here we go. Okay, because when they are just bended to the other side, they will just look too much up. And here it's just okay. And now I'm gonna test if we're gonna be able to close the case when this is here inside. I'm gonna put this cable just here inside there. So wait. And take your time guys, take your time, don't do not do anything without time, because if you have no time, you're gonna just destroy more. So now, let's see how this looks here inside, looks great, we're gonna have space here. Let's put this over here, so that means it will be here in the near. Maybe we can modify here some on the plastic, but now let's just see if we gonna have some place here. If not, then yeah, shit happens. So. 
<laughs> yeah guys we are in it's holding it's perfect it's nothing bended that means we have the space we need <laughs> yeah i knew it because i have already saw that the space could be possible let's shake it a little bit to see if the connector will fall down <laughs> if the connector is some, some, uh, somewhere here then it's a good sign because we had the, the space that we need and it was not we can say uh, so hard together so let me just get this open here it's sometimes really hardcore to, to open it but you already know how this shit works sometimes come on so yeah sometimes it's really hard to open this part on the playstation 4 but sometimes it just needs to um yeah shake around and blah 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 so get back together again need to play around here this is a little bit shitty sometimes yeah but you're gonna somehow get it work just like me come on yeah, it's always the same shit here with this stuff so here up oh, still not oh god see this is what i'm talking about maybe here no and here come on Hop, hop, hop. I hate it. I hate it, guys. So. <clears throat> push it to the front. I have pushed it now to the front. You see, with lots of power, I have pushed it to the front. <laughs> and then I was able. Again, for you guys. Okay, so if you have the problems, I'm going to explain this here again. Sometimes you just go here. You see that? And then here, and you push it up, and it works. But on some PlayStations, that was never out before. You're gonna need to go here with your fingers under there and then you just push it to the front a little bit. Okay, here you just help here with your finger here, push it a little bit, bend it a little bit to the front, and then you will be able to get this out. Okay, so yeah, like I told, yeah, it's it's just in place. I think it was so before. Now it was just so. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think I'm gonna do it like that, and then we're gonna have we can say a great experiment again, a great modification again. So um, I think this will be just the best solution for, let's say, um, yeah, a better lasting, um, or let's say, yeah, it calls like that, that it will last forever or last longer. <laughs> and that's why I'm going to do that like that. Okay, so let me not just uh, do some stuff and then I'm going to record again. <laughs> Guys, this is just great. So guys, now I need just to hold my smartphone in my hand, so that means um, that can shake a little bit. But now I have just bent all like I just wanted before. And now you can see that I have bent all the pins, all the contacts, just perfectly. Now I need just to adjust it for the video. So this will look like this, okay? Yep, just like that. Then I'm gonna, we can say adjust it a little bit, like I told you, this will just look very great. This will be just ever so. And then, um, yeah, it's now hard for me to record you this, guys. But um, I'm gonna do a perfect work, like you already know me. And then uh, we're gonna scratch, we can say the PCV. Here on the left side. Oop. So, sorry. Here on the left side and then uh, we're gonna scratch it here on the right side and then we're gonna let uh, uh, some we're gonna let um, the soldering running down you see so here the solder will just run down and this will hold this connector just inside so i'm gonna do now my work and then i'll work out again so guys i have now just scratched it on the right side and on the left side this looks just great and I'm gonna now just show you that how it looks like. I have scratched it with a very thin um, drill or a very thin uh, bit here again just like that okay just scratch the paint off do a nice work and yeah always very careful. Um, it's also recommended to clean this uh, contacts here out because sometimes they are just looking a little bit up 
and if you will clean this the um, adapter later will just sit perfectly there okay that's why get some flux and just clean this away so guys this is how i did it and you can see it now very well how this is holding we can say the connector on the right side and here on the left side it looks all just pretty uh, we can say dirty but this is just we can say it's just normal because i have just soldered it just fresh and clean and that's why sometimes you just have your some flux around and yeah i'm going to clean this all with isopropanol <laughs> or isopropanol <laughs> i don't know how it's called in english isopropanski <laughs> so wait here okay with this stuff here i'm going to clean it with some alcohol isopropyl or something like that. i think in english this has another name and then i'm gonna just clean it with some stuff like um here like this one's pencil or whatever <clears throat> so let's see which one i'm gonna take it's the smallest one here i think yeah so this one and then we just need to modify the fan cable and I think I'm gonna do these cables also a little bit longer because I don't, I never have liked the small short um, cables on the PlayStation 4. And that's why I'm gonna do that a little bit longer so it will be better also for you to work in full tour. But it looks great, guys. Look at this. <laughs> it's really holding just perfect. And that's how I just wanted to do. See that? Here. Wait. <clears throat> so you can see that you can put a little bit more if you want but it's not necessary the most important is that this soldering contact is holding this adapter or the connector okay so here just nice guys i'm gonna clean that all and then i'm gonna record again so guys this is how it should look like and i'm finished you can see the contacts are just perfect. Wait, let me just zoom in. So here, just perfectly solder it like always. And left and right, just holding perfect. Okay, this is how I just wanted to do it. And you can see also here on the contacts that I have really not touched it something else the contact is just sitting perfectly under there wait let me go to the side wait so zoom a little bit back and then you're going to be able to see that i really have just soldered with the contacts that are just necessary to get contact you can see that see that wait a little bit more zoom maybe just perfect yeah so wait i hope the reflection is not disturbing but i think it's okay you can see it the legs are just touching the contact itself so let's go to the other side you should also check this always by yourself you better get uh, we can say a smartphone and then you can take a picture and you can zoom a lot in just to be sure before you turn on the playstation just to be sure if all is okay or not okay but here, like you can see, also the leg, uh, the right leg, the the right contact, the right pin, just shoulder it, uh, solder it, also just perfect, and of course the contact in the middle, also. Okay, just a nice work, like always, guys. I have just cleaned it all, and then um, let me just turn the PlayStation to the other side. Maybe it's just better to record it from here. Yeah. <laughs> You can see it latest now that this is all just done perfectly. Okay, sorry that I'm shaking a little bit, but um, this is the way you can go. And this will, of course, hold way better. And yeah, I hope you like my work, guys. This is just looking great and ever so. And now I need to just, we can say, to um, yeah make the cables longer here from the fan. A lot of practice guys and a lot of skills needed to do that so nice like here. 
And that's why I just recommend to do that if you have really some soldering skills. Otherwise, you better let do it for you. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna just make these cables a little bit longer. I'm gonna, um, let's say, wait, 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 wait. So search in the cable here, this, so here. Um, take care that you don't turn the cables to the wrong side. And now, just take a look how this is just perfectly fitting in. Now I will just um, disconnect it uh, without to hold uh, this contact or let's say um, this part or how it calls the yeah the adapter. Okay, just that you can see how great this is holder or holding. Okay, just take care. Click. You see that? Just perfect. And that's why the left and the right uh, contact is we can say very important. Otherwise, you're gonna break this all, and then you could break these contacts on the back side even more and then it will just be very difficult to get contact again for your fan. Okay, that's why this is very important. Now I just can go here on and just disconnect. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do um, maybe about two or three centimeters longer. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna make it just like that. Three or four or five centimeters longer. Uh, uh, longer. If the cables are too long, you can put them also here down. You can see that. You can lay them down here, just like that. So it's of course better when you have some more cable, because then it's just better also to work. And when they are so short, it's always a little bit shitty. And that's why this stuff breaks sometimes, because you have not the right space to get it off. And sometimes this shit just breaks off. But yeah, I hope you like it. And I just love it right now. It's just, yeah begins to get really crazy <laughs> and get really nice and that's why I just wanted to yeah do that. If you want of course to test your fan um, you should um, get the gray cable with the brown together yeah gray and brown together and then you got the black one for minus and then you can give it yeah 12 volts to see if the fan is working because otherwise you're going to connect the fan and late it will not work and you will get panic. <laughs> and the only thing is because the fan is already yeah, game over. Okay, sometimes this happens. The fan gets just broken and then of course it will not work. So it has nothing to do about this clean work. And that's why you should always also test if the fan is still working or not. So guys, like I told, let's test the fan if it's working or not. Here you can see I got the brown one and the gray one together with plus. And the single one, which is the black one, I got here just on the black one, okay? Here I got my small PSU. I think I have set it about on 4 or 5 volts, <laughs> something like that. And now let's just test it and take care that these two contacts get not together. And here we go. Yeah, looks good. So I can keep now my work <laughs> and then well, we can say, yeah, sure that the fan is really working. Great. So it's done. Okay, perfect. So guys, here we go. I have just cut these three cables. Then you just need to cut a little bit of the isolation of the, we can say, plastic here on the cable. And then I got here, we can say, the length that I think it will be just great. And of course, you need something like, uh, how it calls in English, shrink, shrink tubes. Yeah, I think this is the right name. And then you just cut three pieces of this shrink tubes. Yeah, I think shrink, 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 <laughs> shrink, ring. I think it's shrink, shrink. <laughs> A tube and shrink, yeah. So um, just cut a little bit, just like here, and uh, get them inside. Three pieces you're gonna need. Then here, also um, cut it away. And then we're gonna solder this together. And then I think this will be just great, guys, because this will have the great length. And this what will be just too long or too long. You can just lay down here. And maybe I'm gonna cut here again uh, one or two centimeters more. I'm not sure because when I have this just about here, let me just calculate again. 
So this will be around here. And then I called, we can say, put the most here on the right side and then I can connect it. Yeah, should be like that. Maybe I'm gonna cut again one or more, uh, one or two centimeters more. All right, <laughs> yeah, this will just look great. And then don't forget first to get here some contacts, but maybe I'm gonna do that with you together. Now let me just cut these cables out and then I will just record a little bit with you together that you can see the soldering and how the procedure should be done that you can do a right and a perfect work, guys. So yeah, but it's a lot to do and you should have some soldering skills. This is the minimum that you need to do that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna record this video together, just that you can see a little bit of soldering, um, just easy. You can learn this normally on the, in the school, but uh, <laughs> you need to practice a lot. So the soldering that you're gonna learn in the school, this will not be enough because you will really need to have some calm hands. And yeah, so um, I'm gonna now just cut, I think, yeah, one centimeter or one and a half, just like this here. So I hope you can see that, Oop. all right. And then just need to take off, we can say the isolation. I hope this is called the same in English. Take it away. <laughs> yeah, with my nail cutter, I love this nail cutter. It helped me a lot of times. And um, you can use it for lots of stuff. Click. So. <laughs> Here, one more. Hope you can see that all right. I don't know if the camera is focusing, just great, but um, this is just that you can see how this should be done. So, and clean your workstation or your workplace. Clean it always and work just really clean, guys. Take care that you don't scratch anything. So, here we go. You please do not turn the cables, okay? So the best soldering uh, results is when you let just the cables like this. Some people go around here, uh, around there and they turn the cables, okay? Don't turn them, just let them like this because so the soldering gets better inside the contacts or the cables. You, you understand what I mean? So you please do not turn um, these cables around, okay? Do not turn. Just let it like this, okay? Hope this is focusing right. Do not um, turn the cables, just let it like this, guys. So I know what I'm talking about, so that's why I'm just explaining you that. So here now, uh, let's cut again <laughs> with my nail cutter. Let's say about, yeah, so I think it's okay. One, cling, two, cling. And <laughs> three cling. Cling, cling, cling. So, I'm gonna just do it nice for you guys that you can see how this should be done. Maybe I'm gonna do that a little bit shorter. Yeah, as you work really clean, you can do it as a shorter, you know, so it's no problem at all. But you need to take care. So, Shrink tubes. Yes, I have Google for and I had right. <laughs> yeah, hallelujah. I have found we can say a word in English without to check it first. But I knew uh, because, um, yeah, I think three or four or five years ago, I knew a program which calls sh uh, DVD shrink or something like that. <laughs> DVD shrink. Just great. It was a great software to copy some stuff and yeah, I just love it. So here, get one inside, whoop. The second one, whoop. And then the third one. Okay, so now this should look like, okay. One, two, three, from New York to Germany. No, 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 no. All right, uh, then let's bend it a little bit more down so I will be able to solder it better. Here we go. Here we go. And yeah, get all just in place, guys. Just do it like you like it. So maybe some of you guys are working with the left hand. 
I am a guy that works with the right hand. So that's why I just prepare. The most important on doing this work here is to prepare all. See? So just prepare all just like you need. Don't forget some flux. It will always help you because flux is always better to solder. So the soldering process will be just perfect done. Alright, soldering station, of course, soldering iron. And now let's get our contact. So wait guys. Yep, here we go one time. Let's go for this one. Second one. And here it is the third one. So just nice and sexy. See that? Wait. A little bit more zoom. Okay, so just new soldering contacts. You just do that before you begin to solder, okay? Otherwise, this will just be, we can say, very difficult for you. So let me now just get the camera up. We're gonna do the same on the cables itself. <laughs> and then we have again done a great modification, which I already love. It will hold or last longer, it will hold better, of course, and yeah, it's great. Yeah, looks great. Fantastic mic. <laughs> so, um, then, of course, later, we're gonna just get it in and you need to calculate that you please don't forget and um, yeah, just don't change the, the cables, okay? This will not work, of course. So now, I'm gonna get some flux again. Where's my flux? Here. Fantastic mic. So, yeah, sorry guys, I'm loving myself. Here we go. But um, one. Just perfect. See that? I hope you can see that. And here, wait, wait, wait. I need to stretch it. I need to bend it and stretch it. Yeah. Bam, second one. Now this one I need more up. You see how great the flux is? It just can take your soldering iron, it just adds some soldering wire, and then you just need a little bit of flux, and it's magic! <laughs> yeah, I do some magic with my soldering iron and with some heat guns. <laughs> just kidding, guys, but it's like that. So, here again, hold it in the near, and let's do that. Fantastic mic. Okay, I hope you was able to see that. I was recording a little bit more up. I'm sorry, my fault, but I hope you was able to see that all. Now I'm gonna shut off my soldering station. Let's get um, this here inside. If you have a hot air gun, you can go and shrink these tubes with a heat gun, of course. So let me just prepare it. I'm gonna put it over here, I think. Should be great. Wait. Yes. Let me test. Maybe. We're gonna need some more. Let me go with this lighter here. Mm, it looks good, but maybe I'm gonna glue it because they are a little bit too small and um, I had no ones, I had no different one. 
but you know me guys I'm gonna fix that really great and the most important is that you get here not a short circuit and that's why you should use them okay so here get them inside I certainly have not uh, smaller ones but you know guys I will just fix it perfectly and this will stay forever <laughs> All right, so this was just how this should be done. I'm gonna finish my work and then we're gonna go for a test and then I'll record again. So guys, I have now just opened all again. I have now, uh, we can say, um, get me a second um, shrink tube just over the three. This is just holding perfectly. It's really just really hard. And then I'm gonna just switch it here to the right side or we can say here, lay it down. And then I'm going to be able to get this inside. You see that? So, just perfect. Yeah, <laughs> look. And then I'm going to put it here inside. And then I'm going to put it there. So, but yeah, I'm going to just do it nice. <laughs> it looks great. And uh, later, I'm going to clean this all. Maybe I'm going to open all this stuff because maybe I'm going to also add some. New thermal paste, but now just for the test, I think it's just great done. And then you can now go here in photo, just here inside. Get here inside, see that? Wait, wait, wait. So, get the cable, and now you have enough cable to work around here. You see that? So, and then now just get it off. <laughs> is it nice or is it nice? I love it. So, guys, it should look like this, just nice gets inside there I have folded a little bit down so this will disturb nobody here the cable is just working around or we can say laying around here and then we are good to test so here power cord I'm just trying it now with you together the first time and wish me luck guys yes it's working I don't know if you can hear it but I can Sometimes the HD is a little bit louder than the fan because the fan on stock speeds <laughs> It's just a blame But yeah here now you can just we can say add a fan adjuster or do your own And then you are good to go guys So let me go to the back. Maybe you will be able to hear it Yes, it's great, it's working, it's nice, it's sexy. <laughs> now you can, like I told you, do your, your own fan adjuster without having some problems. You can um, make one external, just like I do always on my videos, so you can just regulate it yourself. Otherwise, you can just mount it here and put it there inside. I got somewhere here, also, um, somewhere, I don't know where, wait, let me just quick pause, guys. So guys, I have just picked me some old school fan adjusters that I have buy it long, a uh, long, long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, but they are working. So here uh, you can see also uh, that you need to take care how they are here selected. So that means the brown is now on the left side and uh, blue is, we can say, the black one and gray is gray. But if you are just trying to get these old school ones on uh, a PlayStation 4 Pro, then, like I have told you as on my other videos, you need to change the brown cable from the left side to the right side and the gray to the left side. So, maybe I'm gonna... Yeah, let me just test it, okay? So that you guys can see. Yeah, <laughs> lovely now. You should, of course, set the fan a little bit higher because this is the reason why they get overheating with the time. So, guys, my daughter Alice is now recording. <laughs> a great assistant, yeah. So, say hello to Alice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, here, let's just get this out again. And then, let's just disconnect. Now, get your <laughs> PlayStation 3 fan adjuster inside. Just to test, yeah. Here we go. Now, let's get this here inside. And then, let's just turn it on. You can see it or you can hear it already. I'm gonna now just accelerate it a little bit.
yeah, it should stay like this if you want to have a cool PlayStation 4. Otherwise, you can also make some holes under there, like I have shown you on my other video, which I have done, I think, four or five years ago. You can see it on my YouTube channel, how I have done some holes. And then you're gonna have a lot of better temperatures, of course, because you're gonna have some more airflow. But then you need to get here some feeds under there that the console gets a little bit higher. Otherwise, the air will not be able to get inside that great because the PlayStation 4 it's just, yeah, too much down. And now you can see it's working. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Like I told, you can use this stuff, this old school stuff here. Or you can, we can say, solder your own potentiometer. This ones here are working on 100k, like you can see. And uh, I have shown you... Uh, lots of times uh, how you can do them yourself on my YouTube channel. You don't even need a PCB like that. You just can solder it just uh, smaller and just easy. Okay, you can find that all on my YouTube channel. I hope you like this video, guys. Let me just set it a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. So, second, need to get my screw drill. Ah, so, got it. <laughs> now let's set it so that you can use it all days 24 7 just take care and 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 hear the difference this is not just stock it's like that sometimes the hd is louder than the fan <laughs> yeah it's crazy guys so now let's just adjust this a little bit more and here with the noise So, no, at least, good. So, now I'm gonna take it. Thank you, Alice. So, here, take a look. This should be good. This should be better than stock. And if you don't, um, yeah, if you don't, uh, hot calls, um, if you don't care about the noise, you can spin it a little bit faster. And of course, it will get cooler. Okay, guys. All right, man. I hope you like it, greetings from me, my family and all the rest, I hope you like it, stay strong guys in the corona time, I hope soon it's finally finished all the shit and I wish you the best guys, this was just a proof that this is just done perfect and <laughs> it's great, it's great and you should go for this way, option number 3, if you love your playstation 4, otherwise if you are repairing this for another person, then you can go for the original ones which you can get on ebay and maybe i'm gonna put you some links in the description and then you will be able to buy them okay but yeah it's great i love it <laughs> it's just fantastic okay guys see you soon and stay tuned on my channel for more crazy stuff bye bye peace